goes in. Hi. Can I help you? Are you John Lervick? No, I'm not. Um, we came to see John Lervick. Uh, he's not available right now. What can we do for you? So he mean he just slipped out the back door. Are you assistant so we were just told city attorney? Or? I am an assistant okay. city attorney. Okay. You're assistant city attorney? Yes. You'll do. Can we come in and sit down? Not at the moment. Or you? I have a meeting I'm late for. So okay. Well, there was a crime committed this morning in the city limits. To the police we did. We we're wondering if, um, if it's going to be taken seriously. Well, the you know, problem is when he when he talked to the cops, they said they're going to take it up with you. And uh, Jed has been harassed before by the cops when they threatened him with uh, a ticket and arrest and stuff like that. So now he's wondering if this is actually going to materialize because. Can I ask who you gentlemen are? Oh, My name's Jed Hoff, and name. this is this is Terry Nemers. Okay. I brought him here as a witness so that he can you know judge the public can see what, what's going on in the city. Um, Bill Ingebrigtsen, the state senator. Was, was Gentlemen, I'm just going to interrupt here, okay, because the procedure is we are not, our office is not the investigating agency for crimes. That's the police department mm -hmm. if the offense occurred in the city limits. Yes. So are you if aware it occurred of? outside the city limits, it's a county matter. We don't even have right. jurisdiction. Sure. So uh, are you personally aware of what happened this morning? I'm not aware of what happened, and I would like you to sit down, please. Sure. So that I can can, can respond to yeah, you bet. You. Yeah, okay. I'm being reasonable. Are, are, if you, you, have, you have a copy of prosecution principles, because I actually have a copy of prosecution principles, and it says that a prosecutor is part police officer. So you have an obligation and a duty to investigate crimes, also, don't you? Correct. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, you do. Because I, I can quote you if you want. I'll bring in a copy. Gentlemen, if you have a concern about a crime that you think was committed no, no, within no. the city he, limits he of Alexandria then you need to go to the police department no, see, we did. and have them right investigate now. See, all you're doing is stonewalling. Okay, what I'll do... Just tell, your, judge, just tell your story, because this guy is just going to make up a... He was driving an improper license. Here's what I'll do for you, gentlemen. Here's yeah. what I'll stop do for you, gentlemen. Make an appointment? Stop interrupting. No, I'm, I'm trying to right answer... I'm telling you right now to stop, and stop I'm interrupting. I'm trying stop to answer... Stop interrupting. Tell your story, Judd, and just tell it, okay? Tell him to stop yeah, interrupting. Can you call the PD, please? Okay. Oh, now it's threats. Come on, Judd, tell your story. Well, maybe it'd be good to have the police up it here. It would be great. Then I could them. ask them if they're gonna, if they're gonna do something about what Judge, happened. Just start telling your story. Here's all this is an intimidation. No, oh, let's let the man. Yes, we want to be polite. Second story law firm. Mm -hmm. Why are you calling the police? To harass us. No, Come on, I'm not tell calling your story. because I'm trying to get my point across. Right. She's calling the police. Talk. You told her to. That is correct. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Judd, tell your story. Oh, I'd be interrupted if I did. Well, you know, the crime is also committed. Can I talk? Yeah, go ahead. What we're willing to do, I'm willing to <coughs> get the police involved. If you have a complaint that you would like to report. Yes, I have a complaint. Then I will facilitate that. They didn't take a complaint from me. Allow to, they didn't, allow they didn't offer to take a complaint. Oh, Gentlemen, you've worn out your welcome. You need to leave. Sir, I came here because Jeff, they did not give me due time to, to report Jeff. the offense to them. You need to leave. We're leaving, leave. Judd. He told us to leave. We'll leave. Thank you for your time. Yep. <laughs> Note that when we told Judge we told us to leave, we did. everybody. If everybody does it, we'll get rid of them all.
Yeah, exactly. They're trying to decide who, which thug they're going to send out. So you know, doing. just don't know who they want to throw under the bus here. They're going to decide if they want to do the same routine they did the last time, which is try to threaten us immediately or try to be friendly. <laughs> I think I think it's the threat. Yes. Mr. Lear with this out of the office is can I take the number and have him call you when he returns or Well, how come you went in there? You thought he was in there and all of a sudden he screwed up because the last time we were here said the exact same thing and all of a sudden some thug came out here. I think it's uh who's this guy right here? Mr. Jacobson. Yeah, that guy he came out and threatened us with arrest and stuff like that. Okay. So I'm sure you got someone hiding back. Uh, we're not hiding anyone, but um, uh -huh. Mr. Lurvick is out of the office. Well, Mr. Jacobson is out of the office right now. So who is in the office? None of the attorneys are in the office right now. Heidi Schultz, who is a, an assistant attorney, is over at the courthouse right now in mm. court. Um, mm. So they send you, they send her to do all the work, and they just sit back and collect all the money, then, right? <laughs> no I comment, can, right? Yeah, well, I, I can't comment on something like that. But what can I? Can I take your number and have someone call you? Oh, uh, don't worry. You could take you could take my number. You could take my you know DNA sample. They aren't going to contact me back. I'll guarantee okay. you that. Because I have filed criminal complaints with the Alexander Police Department. Okay. Case number one zero one three four zero three, and we just happened to run into the sergeant. Just out of the blue, that guy just happened to show up downtown when we were bullhorning. Because you, you know we were down here bullhorning, right? Uh, not or, aware of it. When was this? Just this morning. Oh, no, I guess I wasn't, but... Okay. It's because it's soundproof in here, right? Anyhow, he uh, showed up down there and uh, was telling us that he did his end of the of criminal case number 1013403. And then he handed it over to... The wolves and sheep's clothing over here, and I haven't heard a word since. Okay. Of course, I know it's buried. I know they aren't going to do anything about it because if they were going to do something about it, they would have contacted me a long time ago. Okay. I, I have to apologize. I don't work in the criminal. I well, work I, only I, in civil, so yeah, I don't yeah. know anything about the case. But yeah, I, I understand and I, that. I, I have paperwork, and I can leave it. I kind uh, of am stuck between a rock and a hard place because I, I don't know, I know what it's regarding. I know you're just the, the gatekeeper here. Right. I'm not expecting you to know anything. No, I understand. Okay. So all I'm doing, I'm just, do. I'm just telling you to inform you. All the information is on here. Okay. Right. And can I have one of those? You're more than welcome to have these. Here's here's the information about the case numbers okay. and why KSX and these wolves and sheep's clothing here want to cover it up. And you can have the information about Chad the Fell Larson, your county attorney here. Okay. He engaged in a felony back in January of 2008, sent me a weapon in the Todd County Jail. These okay. are just copies, so okay. these are I'm taking with me. And then would you like me to leave these for Mr. Lurvick then? Sure, that'd be great. Okay. Like I said, he's just going to put them in the shredder anyhow, so. I hope that's not the case. What What was your name? My name is Terry Dean Nemers. Last time I gave my name in here, they called the cops. Nemers? Nemers. N-E-M as in Mary, M as in Mary, E-R-S. Okay. I'll guarantee you they know exactly. Oh, okay. All you got to do is tell him Terry was here. Yeah, know. because the Hello. the sergeant came down there and he knew John and I by our first names immediately. Okay. So they okay. know they know who we are. Oh, just a minute, please. I'll, I'll buzz you back. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, so what, what phone number should I ask about? Don't worry. Don't worry. They, they have all, the police department has my information, so they want to get a hold of me, which they won't. We've given my information to the, to, to the Echo Press. They didn't want to contact me either, so I know okay. they aren't going to contact me. Either, well, so. I'll be sure to get this to Mr. Th Lurvick. That's fine. I, I know. I, okay. I'm not I'm not saying that you're not going to give it to them. I know that they're not going to do anything about okay. it. So. I'm, I'm sorry. Like I said, um, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, all I can do is give it to them. And right. Like I said, I know okay. you're the gatekeeper. You got you you just get a paycheck. <laughs> you don't, it's not your job to, to do their job. Well, so. I'll do what I can. Thanks for stopping up. Mr. No problem. Have Thank you. Afternoon. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Oh, how are you doing the whole field? Yep. That's right.